What up, world? We are back. This is another episode of the Cloud Chronicles. It's your boy, Johnny Blaze. Man, I got a special guest. Special, special guest. I like to say special guest with everybody that sits down with me because I appreciate their time, man. Everybody's very busy. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let me introduce to you artist, educator, entrepreneur, straight out of Honolulu, hey. Hawaii. Um, you know who she is already. <laughs> You know who she is already. I'm going to say, uh, correct me if I say it wrong. It's okay. Go ahead. Then exclusive. Hey. The, hold on one second. Hold up. I had it ready. I had it ready. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I said that. I said your name right, right? Yeah. Jazan exclusive. What's up, Jazan everybody? exclusive. That's right. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it right here on the Cloud Chronicles, straight out of Honolulu, Hawaii. Sitting Ooh. down with me to chop it up for a minute, man. This is great. This is great. Uh, mm -hmm. So how's, how's it out there? Hey, man, I really can't complain. Of course, COVID is hitting everywhere in all kinds of crazy ways. I'm Filipino, so I also have family and friends back in the Philippines and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We're pushing through. And to be honest, uh, I, I like the, the laid backness. Hawaii is already kind of laid back. Right, so, right. Um, yeah, it's just it's really hard for us. We're really family oriented. It's hard not to meet up with like 200 people minimum you know right, <laughs> so right, right, so that's right. a that's a whole that's a whole thing but you know what i'm happy to have work i'm happy to be an artist and be able to do different things and help my family in different ways during these times so um yeah man we just stay strong and keep praying because you never know man right 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 <laughs> so so give them uh the people that don't know you mm -hmm. uh people, give them a little background uh about yourself like your music the education yeah. uh all that. Tell me, tell me about stuff real quick. Bet. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Once again, people, my name is Jazan Exclusive. I'm a hip hop artist, rapper, educator, and entrepreneur from Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, I, in my day job, I'm a teacher. I've been teaching in different schools and different facets of education from college to workshops to elementary right now, which is what I'm currently doing. i um, been doing that for about three to four years, but I've been rapping since I was in high school. So I'm aging, I'm dating myself now, but I've been out of high school about 10 years now. Um, but, and it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just been something that I've been passionate about and chasing ever since. And, um, yeah, and I'm very grateful for the path that it's taken me. And I think that's the beauty of being an artist, especially in this past decade and this current time, like with the growth that you can do, you may think that you're not making an impact, but you really are in so many different ways. So wow. artists out there who may think that you're not as popular or not as popping, like just look around and really check who you're really touching because that's what it's really about. Right, right, right. Yeah. Uh, uh, quality, not quantity. You know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. If, you, if you really are touching and reaching like five real people mm -hmm. rather than just 10,000 people giving you a quick listen. Yes. Yes. You know that is saying? that is a thing. And I, I experienced that last year because up until uh, for the past like three years, I've been going hard uh, performing and touring and um yeah, just performing and doing a bunch of different things here and um, internationally. But right. yeah, it's just it's just crazy to to think. And I'm glad that, you know, I stayed on this path, man. Right. So you had did you have anything lined up before um, the world took a pause, so to speak? Um, well, to to be honest, it was a blessing in disguise, because like I said, for the past like three years, I've been performing like almost every weekend here in Honolulu. Um, right. In February of 2019, I went on a tour in the Philippines for a whole month, and that was Liddy. <laughs> and we can get right, into that right. later. But uh, what's that called? It was just, I was honestly reaching a point where, you know, as an independent artist, it's get, it gets hard. And um I wasn't taking care of my body correctly. Uh, you know, just things were starting to not fall fall through personally. Uh, but right, the business, right. music has always been great. Business has pretty much always been growing, which I'm really grateful for. Um, but I'm glad it was a blessing in disguise, like I said, that things kind of shut down in uh, March over here because uh, it just allowed me it gave me time to, you know, just reevaluate everything, make little <laughs> right, adjustments right. with my job and all these kind of different things. And now I'm pretty much back to where I'm comfortable to to handle the pace of music and business, but also like working and like my day life, you know? Right, right. Yeah. The balance is important. Balance is it important. Is, so is people, it, you know, I'm all about going all in and like hustling till you drop. But at the same time, you do need to take care of yourself. Yeah, you got to rest. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's really, you got to rest. 
Um, so how long have you been doing music? Yeah, uh, so officially I started uh, back in like 2009. I've always loved hip hop and music uh, ever since I was a little kid growing up in the 90s and early 2000s and stuff. Um, 90s and but poppin'. yeah, oh. yeah. 2009, long story short, I attended like this student conference back at UC Berkeley in the Bay Area in California. Right. Yeah, and I, um, I spent about a month out there just learning about, I was, a, I was still in high school. So I was learning about college and ethnic studies and learning learning about the Black Panther movement and that kind of like opened my psyche to a whole new, you know, yeah. gener uh, I guess you could say community of youth that were like super forward thinking and um, mm -hmm. part, part of that we learned dance and hip hop and stuff and so that's kind of how, you know, the whole thing, the whole ball got rolling and it's just something after high school, I joined the military, so I traveled, met a lot of different homies all over the United States and stuff. Oh, hey, so, salute, yeah. salute. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I got my hey. army shirt on right now. Hey, real talk, real talk. Appreciate your service, man. Hey, your service. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Salute to all the vets. Yeah, and Texas, every time we're there, always always treated very well out there, so we appreciate it over um, right. out there. Yeah, so, yeah, man, like I said, it's just something that I've continued to keep doing through my different work through my different skills and education and um, yeah, my different careers. And so, but ever since college, I'd say is when I really started, you know, saying like, okay, I did the military thing. I did the college thing. It's kind of like, I just wanted to make sure that my parents knew that I wasn't just going to get sucked into the, you know what I'm saying? The music industry yeah. or Hollywood, whatever you call it. Wow. And now ever since then, um, things have really, really picked up such as meeting podcast and platforms like yourself and other things like that so like i said again it's just a continuous like artists really got to just have passion out here because you know you do it for the money that's that's one thing but right. at the same time if you want it to be like a lifelong thing and you want to keep that love that you had when you was a kid when this first all started for you it mm -hmm. just because i still feel like i'm like a 16 year old kid you know but i'm right i'm damn near 30 already but right. it's kind of weird like the drive has not changed you know so uh yeah, yeah just got to be grateful and keep keep pushing that when you're doing what you love it's not a job right yes yeah man <laughs> yeah. Like, like this this is fun to me so i don't i don't yeah consider it. I'm working, though. I'm yeah working. you're working you're yeah. working you're, you're getting things together you got notes yeah. you got to set yeah. things up but at the same yeah. time exactly yeah it's it's love it's passion and it's uh it's for the people that support us right right oh yeah hey by the way we got to give a big shout out to hey. doc that's doc doc Yo. You know, he, he, put me, he put me on to you you know what i'm yeah. saying so i had to reach out after hey, I shout out uh, doc yeah yeah shout out doc doc tv 33 uh shout out fatal poems ig uh mm -hmm. and igm tv 33 too man um yeah, but yeah you killed that was popping Thank you. Hey, you that was my, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I don't give a damn what nobody say. You Whoa. killed that with popping. You killed that with popping. Anybody I, anybody I tell about you, I'm playing that was popping. Yo, okay. Okay. You know what I'm I was like, she in the driveway with it. In the driveway with it. Like this, you know what I'm saying? In the driveway with it. You know what I'm saying? That shit was so good. That shit hey. was good. Man. Thanks. Yeah. And, you know, quarantine, I feel like people now, uh, especially like the people who are, you know, we've been online, um, the viewers, they don't really need all that fancy smanchy music oh. video stuff, man. Like no. pull out the phone, the vlog situation. I was like, you know what? That's where I started. Got to get back into it. And so mm -hmm. that, that literally that was like written, recorded, filmed, little edited on iMovie, posted on IG and all that. That was like yeah. maybe two hours. Yeah. It was yeah. light work. So thank you. I feel you, but no, you you right though. I mean, like the simplicity of like shows, like even now, mm -hmm. like the podcasting, mm -hmm. even it, like there's shows like this now, and it's mm -hmm. you know it's so simple. But pre pre pandemic, I would have thought I would I'm gonna need like a camera. I'm gonna yeah. need lighting. I'm gonna need this fancy backdrop. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need a place to record. I'm gonna need a, a big long sound boom mic. You know what I'm thinking? You, you, you're all the stuff you've seen, and yeah. you're like, damn, I, I I can't do that. And pandemic is like, grab your phone, pull it out, we pull it out. It. Yeah. yeah, put that. I'm telling. Look, I put. I We're gonna start. Phone. I put my I put my phone on a on a, a speaker. I move my yeah. son's little uh his little dresser over. Hey, stack some PlayStation games up and put that bitch up, and it was go Dude. time. Hey, you know what whatever, I mean? whatever makes it work, man. That's what it is. Right, 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 right. <laughs> definitely, definitely. 
Um, so uh, talk to me like about your uh, your creation process. Like, okay. Um, either, you know, when you're going into the studio or mm -hmm. when you're writing at home, like, what do you like to do? Like, uh, do you, um, you know, like some candles? Do you, mm. like, oh, what, 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 <laughs> you like to put some 90s music on? What do you like right, to do? Right, right. Hey, that, that's a good question. And it's something that um, artists get asked a lot. Over time, it's kind of changed. But for the most part, it's kind of like I've said in different interviews, it's kind of fluid, man. So sometimes, mm -hmm. of course, it'll be a weekend. I'm out. We're performing all weekend with the homies or something like that. Late, late at night after everyone is passed out or whatever, stoned or something. Right, um, right. I might get in a little like half an hour just free write session you know what I'm saying right. in the um but uh for the most part since I'm home a lot and this is like where I'm most comfortable uh, like mm -hmm. most people nowadays is really only comfortable in our homes right um, but what's that called yeah at, usually late at night um I should be sleeping earlier but oh well you know yeah. so yeah, yeah I do got the candle situation going um yep. uh Sometimes it starts as a free write. Sometimes I already have beats. Uh, lately, I've been ha I've had the opportunity to start recording in like professional studios. I, I still record at home. This is like my little yeah, setup see, up I here. Right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it just like I said, it's kind of fluid, man. So I just kind of take it as it goes. But for the most part, yeah, it's usually at home. Um, right. Yeah, it's usually it's usually at home any time of day, yeah. but probably most of the time at night. That's the best thing. I mean, because you know how you know how studio time is. How yes. expensive that is. Yes. Very. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes you just need to get in there and just like mess around. Mm -hmm. and have mm -hmm. a finished product. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's 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 time and money. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, let's talk about your uh. Do you have you've already got you've got material out, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So tell tell the people who aren't familiar with you. Tell them about some of your um, okay. that you already have out. And yeah. if there's something that you got coming for 2021. Okay, um, bet. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, so I've released uh, a bunch of different like mixtapes and EPs over the past like eight years, I would say. Uh, but this year I actually had the privilege um, and opportunity to drop my first album. Um, it was called Evil Summer. It dropped back in July of this year. So check it out. It's on all streaming platforms. Um, yeah, it's out. So check that out. Yeah, yeah. Evil um, Summer, I would, right? Evil yeah, Evil Summer. I would say that. Well, we'll I would, that Evil Summer right now. Yeah, I would tell people go check that out because that's gonna give you kind of like the whole pot of like what Jazan exclusive is about as far as what's important to me, my brand, you know, my right. story. That's kind of the stuff. And up until uh, this this year, I've just been recording on my own for the most part and then kind of like outsourcing, mixing and mastering to the homies and different engineers and producers. But right. the next round of music that's coming in 20, 2021, um, it's gonna mm -hmm. be a lot more professional. I'm in the studio now with, you know, pr like I said, producers right there and then engineers who can really, um, you know, tweak things right there and then so a little bit different as far as sound and quality but the vibe right. and the content is still you know me and all that so check that out uh, my website is jazanexclusive.com i have music videos vlogs freestyle stuff like what you watched on what's popping on my youtube channel and then kind of just you know cross promoting it all around so i'm on all social media in different forms you know tiktok i'm doing challenges and whatever is on there and uh, on yeah. there like, like a month, on there like a month. So yeah, I'm with yeah. You. Together. Uh, yeah. Oh, you got you got dark. It got dark on me over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. You know what? Give me one moment. Let me turn on my light. Yeah, yeah. Do that because it's getting right. darker, and I, I want to be able to see you. Okay. Okay. If you have not already, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, so you can get all the oh, uh, notifications for the Cloud Chronicles uh, podcast, all the new content. We will be dropping. All right. Can you see me now? Oh, you're good. It's perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. It looked like like it started bright. Yeah. It was sunny. It was That's like Hawaii. The sun. It was like the sun was setting. <laughs> That's Hawaii. So it's like bright as hell for like 30 minutes. And then all of a sudden now it's overcast and cloudy. Yeah. 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 Got, we got that uh that daylight savings here. So it's like oh, okay, uh, okay. Damn, it's like like it's like today is like an overcast, so it's yeah it's dark all day. Like it hadn't been Dang. bright all morning, you know what I'm saying? But like anyway, <laughs> like five o'clock, five o'clock, it looked like nighttime. Yes, yes. Man, bullshit. I can't do it. I don't this, know man. what's going on. Yeah, we got some rain and whatnot, but it's all right anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, so you were talking about projects before you uh, had to go Yeah, so Evil Summer, check it out. Website, Jazan Exclusive. YouTube for vlogs, music videos, all kinds of different things. Um, and then, of course, on, across all social media platforms. Like I said, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, all of that. I don't need to name it. You'll probably right, find me. Right. So all, check that out, whatever your preferred platform right. is. <laughs> That's the best way to say it nowadays. Yeah. That's the best way to say it. Okay, so I have some other questions I want to ask you. Let's do it. All right. Um, these, some of these are, uh, well, most of these are non, um, you know, background. This is just to okay. give the people a little bit about who you are. All right, all right. You, they might like something you like, and that might be the reason they go buy the album. Like, okay, yeah. so here we go. Favorite shoes. If you could pick one, one pair of shoes to rock for eternity. Okay. Um, my feet are going to hate me for this, but I just <laughs> love how Air Force Ones look on my okay. feet. Not okay. always the most comfortable list when you're walking for hours and hours or at the club standing for hours. Right, right, but right. I'm a short, I'm a short Filipino girl and it adds a little bit of an inch to me and it. They do like got the them heels. <laughs> they do got that heel. They do got that heel. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah, and they have all kinds of different color combinations, white yeah. on white, uh, black. Yeah, the colorways are oh, infinite. So infinite. I got to say my Air Force Ones, and because those were like the dream shoes that I couldn't really afford when I was a little kid, you right, know? Right, so right, I, right. I went to Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker with my mom for some Air Force Ones in like fifth grade, but I couldn't, so I had to get like two pairs of and ones, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> You have to settle for some like some team Jordan or something. God damn, man. I'll take the motherfuckers, but shit, man. Come on. Yeah. Jeez, jeez. I'll yeah. take the box. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I ain't yeah, gonna yeah. be bragging about it, but I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm damn. Yeah. Air Force Ones. Uh, I also, but yeah, uh classic stuff of fan of the Nike Cortez and and uh, like some vans. Those are my like my, my yeah, I fuck with vans. Yeah, I fuck with vans. <laughs> I fuck with vans. Okay, uh favorite movie. Damn. Oh, I'll let you. Dude. You can give me a couple. You can give me a couple. Okay. I'm going to hold you okay. one. Because I'm a okay. big movie buff myself. So I might, yeah, you know, yeah, I might yeah. have a favorite action. Might have a, give me your favorite comedy. Give me your favorite action. Oh, okay. Favorite comedy, I'd say from like childhood, something that I always loved. The first Rush Hour. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you made me want to go rewatch that shit. Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't really know. Like, like action stuff. I mean, of course, like all the DC and Marvel stuff that that's been coming out. Um, I'm gonna just skip that one. But other couple movies to <laughs> say, uh, shoot, man, I just, you know, we're in the world of Netflix and binging. So I have to like go through like the whole thing. Um, let me see any other damn i'm drawing blank but okay i'll just give the ones what about a what about a show is there are you like is there a show okay okay series? well one that i started watching like i guess a year or two ago that's on netflix but they they discontinued disjointed it was about right. like i, I watched really that shit. Yes. i love that shit yeah i don't yeah. know yeah. it's so shitty how yeah. they they, uh, just... they just cut them off yeah, they just ended yeah. it. I think they just ended it. Yeah, but yeah, that but was a good. That was a good little show. I think show. they were. I think they were onto something very interesting. Uh, in in that yeah. show. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just just been showing like my nerdness. I just been going in, like I said, Hulu, Netflix, the Wu Tang Saga, uh, show yeah. that they got on Hulu. Mm -hmm. um all of like all the hip-hop stuff uh what's it called um atlanta i really like atlanta atlanta's um, good on there atlanta's good. and then yeah, yeah again like just been going in the documentaries the hip-hop evolution rhythm right. and flow all that stuff so yeah okay well, since you're an artist <laughs> i gotta ask you this one okay uh album what do okay. you think would be like in your opinion the top hip-hop album of all time mm. Or it's just bangers. Let me, me, let me, um, yeah, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna just say Ill no, Illmatic. Okay, that's uh, a good because, one. Because of all the stuff that I loved as a kid and, you know, from the 90s and 2000s, that's right. the only album that I listened to again in its entirety this year. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, what I was, that's yeah. What I was, yeah. <laughs> Illmatic, y'all heard her? Yeah, nah. yeah, yes, Nas. Okay. First thing you think of in the morning when you wake up. Probably like I I didn't get enough sleep the night before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. 
yeah that's yeah <laughs> and then i need to use the bathroom or something but <laughs> right? uh i do try to get my like try to just be glad that i woke up because you know we right. couldn't we could have not woken the fuck up you know? that's real that's real so, that's real yeah i try to just keep that in the back of my head too <laughs> that's real okay burgers or tacos oh uh mm, I would say burgers, but actually me and my girlfriend, we actually stopped eating uh, pork and red meat a few years ago. Um, okay. we, we'll, we'll still eat, we'll still fuck up a turkey burger. You know what I'm saying? A chicken yeah, burger yeah, right, or something. Right. So yeah, I, I like, I like burgers. <laughs> so you're vegan or is there? No, no, no. Uh, we, we're just, I don't know. We just decided to stop eating like, uh, I guess you can meat. say, yeah, red meat. Red yeah. meat. Okay. No, that's, yeah. that's healthy. Yeah. That's a healthy thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just a little. We still eat chicken and seafood and stuff. Like so, fish yeah. and stuff. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. No yeah. wrong with that. No mm-hmm. wrong with that. You can't cut out everything. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. She wants to go a little more. I'm like, I think I'm good at this at this point. <laughs> right, 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 right. I couldn't do it. I, I don't know. I need I need that red meat. I'm not going to yeah. lie to you. Yeah. I'll, I'll cut back on it. I yeah. don't eat it all the time, but mm-hmm. I, need, I need a steak every once in a while. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I need a steak. Okay, so um, 2021's coming. So yeah. uh, do you have, are you working on anything for the upcoming year you want to talk about? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm very excited. Well, first of all, uh, I, I didn't get to say this earlier, but okay. me and some homies dropped some collabs throughout this fall and winter season. So uh, you guys can check out Ghost Part 2. That's featuring the homie young dedicated proper who is the home girl up in oakland california um and then me and the homie astro guillotine who is a big time uh rising artist here in hawaii um what's it called we got two new collabs out one is barbecue which we dropped on thanksgiving and then drip uh we dropped a little before um, that's i think earlier this month i believe so yeah check check those those check those collabs and tracks out right now. Um, and to be honest, I'm pretty sporadic with how I post, like being independent underground, you know what I'm saying? So if I feel like posting, I'll post that shit. Right, uh, right, right. But I will say that I do have like my very first exclusively, uh, yeah, executively produced EP coming out very soon. Hopefully two, hopefully two okay. executively right. produced right. Uh, right. tapes tapes in 2021 uh one the first one will most likely be dropping before springtime so i'm very excited about that it's gonna be all it's kind of different i've been kind of melodic and poppy the last couple songs that i've been dropping uh but Mm -hmm. this the next round is going to be a little bit more introspective back to my boom bap kind of roots you know so Yeah. yeah that'll be dropping and yeah all kinds of different music uh dropping in 2021 so i'm very grateful to be stacking music during this time Okay, uh, I have one more. I'm um, not one yeah. more, but I do have another question. Um, okay. Um, let's say you can work with anybody. Mm-hmm. Anybody you get, you and whoever on the track, who are you going with? Uh, like for a feature or like produ- yeah. production? Okay. I want both. That was my oh. that was my follow up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want both. Um, you know, as much as I want to say like the big big time artists like Eminem and all that, but. Uh, one artist that I really, really fuck with, especially uh, in the female hip hop market, I really fuck with Snow the Product. If you heard about yes. her, yes. she's yes. she is kind of like she's kind of what I'm aiming to be as far as her style and what she does for like Hispanic people and her his, her Hispanic community. I kind of want to do that for like my Filipino and Hawaii community. That's so that's I really fuck with Snow the Product. Um, also my home girl, I don't know if you've heard of her, but Ruby Ibarra, she's also a rising artist out of the Bay Area, California, another uh, Pinai artist who's, um, yeah, been doing a bunch of different stuff. Um, but I would say, honestly, probably like all time, all time favorite collab, Missy Elliott, Lauren Hill, those two mm-hmm. females, iconic yeah. in all of my generations. You know, you're going to get a banger. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know and of course, yeah, Timbaland, all those guys, all those, yes. all those guys. Yeah. Oh, you're I really gonna... also, my oh, bad, go um, Tay Key, Tay Key from his music. I've been, I've been really. Okay. That. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, speaking of Timbaland, um. <laughs> Remember the uh, Clock Strikes Twelve song? Yeah, yeah. They uh, they had that video on earlier, man. And I was oh, like, man, that song, man. man. You know, I mean, the beat was sick. That Night Rider beat. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, okay, so did you want to um give any shout outs to anybody? Uh, okay. Anything like that? You want to go ahead? 
Okay, for sure, guys. Uh, thank you once again, folks. Uh, my name is Jazan Exclusive. Thank you for having me on here. A super dope pro podcast, Cloud Chronicle podcast. Um, anyways, yeah, shout out my girl, GTR. She's my ride or die throughout this whole thing. We've been together pretty much the whole time I've been doing music, and she's really been with me through the ups and downs and growth through all this stuff, which is also beautiful. Um, and so my... I guess I like to plug in like advice for artists, like just be grateful for who supports you. Cause you know, we can get caught up in the social media. Like, ah, oh, this guy's not shouting me out. This guy don't fuck with me, blah, 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 blah. But you might really have some people that really care about you and, 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 um, respect your your craft and your grind and your passion so it could be family it could be other friends and partners and stuff so shout out to all the partners out there you right. know um right. i do want to shout out my sponsor heartless clothing company they send me clothes and stuff like that so you guys can check that out that's hco underscore clothing i believe on instagram use my code jazan j-e-h-z-a-n if you guys okay. want um some hawaii gear you know um, check out my store too. I have my own merch. Yeah, on I was going to ask you. Plug yeah. that merch. Plug that merch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, check it out on Teespring. Teespring is a drop. I think it's called like a drop shipping website, kind of just to help upcoming artists and people get their brand out and stuff. So, yep. Just like that's where I merch. got my. That's where I'm on. That's where my yes. stuff is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely yeah. check out your stuff. Yeah. Teespring, yeah. Jazan exclusive. I got, mm -hmm. I just dropped, I think about a month ago, I dropped like quarantine basics. So, I got the mask. The gator, the neck gator, the the fanny pack, whatever and stuff, and also like t-shirts and all that kind of stuff. So check that out on there. I'm trying to think of any other things. Yeah, check us out on all social media platforms. Check out my music on all streaming platforms. Um, and shout out Hawaii, man. Shout out all yeah, my Hawaii, out Hawaii people. Yeah, we 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 making we. That's the the such a cool thing about this time, right? Like even through the lockdown, we're connecting Hawaii to Texas, which is an amazing thing. Um, I also got a big fan base and a growing fan base out in the Philippines and Asia. So shout out on my Filipinos and Asians. I can't say that enough. Um, and of course, all of my black, all of our black and brown brothers and sisters out here doing our thing. So stay right. up, man. Don't don't let right. these politics fool you. Don't let these capitalist whatever ideas fool you. You know with Things are good. Things are growing. Um, as long as you want to see it that way and put in the work to do that. Yeah, so, that's yeah, what's that's, what's <laughs> that's what's up. Well, I appreciate uh, you sitting down and taking the time. Definitely. Um, um, hey, y'all. Shazam exclusive yeah. right here. Check her out. All major platforms streaming on all major platforms. Teespring. Get that merch. Yes. On there as well. Teespring. Y'all check both of our merchandises out. Um, this is just an exclusive, man. This is what we're doing, man. We're gonna bring more up, so y'all be checking her music. Check out the what's popping, yo. Okay. Check out the what's popping. I'm gonna say it one more again. <laughs> check out her on what's popping. If you okay. want to sample, check that out. That's what I'm putting everybody to. I want them to. I want them to check that, man. I'm pushing that for you. Check um, it out. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and shout out Doc. Shout out yeah. Doc. Yeah, for for having yeah, me for and sure. supporting me and all of the things that he's doing. Doc and TV 33. Yeah. Sir. Yes, 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 definitely, definitely. Okay, hey, I always like to say at the end of the episodes, um, mental health is real. Take care of this. It'll take care of you. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody you love them, man. We're going to get through this together. Peace, mm -hmm. namaste, good vibes. This is the Cloud Chronicles. We are out of here. Smash that like, hit the subscribe. Check out Just An Exclusive. Yeah. Check her out. Check out the merch on Teespring. Check out the Cloud Chronicles merch on Teespring. Everybody stay up. Give them a big flex. Shout out Honolulu, Hawaii. Johnny hey. Blaze, get out of here. Peace. Yes, sir. Peace. Aloha. Bye.